Okay, now our next step is to insulate over these wires to protect them from the weather. Once again, we're going to use rubber electrician's tape. And we're going to cut it in strips that are long enough to go over and cover both sets of bus wires. And we will need three strips. Okay, and with each strip, we will pull the backing off. This stuff comes off very easily once you get it started, but sometimes it's a pain to start. Yeah. Okay, now we've got our insulating tape on here, which is just the rubber electrician's tape. And the next, uh, our next step will be to put the junction box on. So here is our junction box, and we're going to put it on with silicone. And get this at your hardware store. Basically, everything we've got here, except for the box and the panel, is available at your local hardware store. So we're going to put silicone around the edge. As you can see, it's got a textured foot to put the silicone on. And there it comes. I'm going to run a nice bead, about a quarter inch thick, all the way around. I'm using clear. The silicone is available in several colors. I just prefer clear because it don't show the mess so bad. Now we've got our silicone on our junction box. Our next step is to feed the wires up through and the two long ones come through there and the two on the other side come through on this side. We center it up as the best we can. And now we've got it set into place and we're going to let it set for a couple of minutes and just to let the silicone start to set and stick so it don't move around on us. Okay, now we're ready to attach our bus wires to our box. And like 
like we said before, the two outside ones are the negative wires, the two inside ones are the positive wires, and they feed into these wire holders here and out through the pass-through diodes and to the wires going out to the other panels and to the charge controller. So the first thing we're going to do is cut our wires to length and you need about an inch to an inch and a quarter above the lock here to let it fold over and go down into the lock. So we're going to cut them about an inch above and cut them all approximately the same length. We will take our small screwdriver, insert it into the lock, pry it open, then we fold the wire down inside, and it goes all the way down into the clamp, and we just release the clamp and the wire is in place. Now the second wire, we will do the same thing, open the clamp, Fold the wire down into the hole that we open when we push the clamp open. Push it into place and release. Do the same thing all the way across with all four wires. Push it into place and that clamps the wire into place. Now we've got a nice neat string of wires there. And the next step we are going to fill our box, our junction box with silicone to protect all the inside from oxidation from the weather being as these are going to be out in all sorts of weather. So we just coat everything inside with our silicone. When this dries, it's a perfect insulator. It's 100% silicone rubber. We have everything in there coated very well. Okay, in here we have our junction box cover, which just snaps on over the top. We snap it into place. And we've got our panel finished. Okay, we're checking our open circuit voltage. And we just set the panel up here against the fence post. And the sun's going down, but we're still getting enough light to get a reading. And this one is putting out 32.3 volts. And it's about 30 minutes before sundown. So it's actually in mostly shade right now. So it looks like this panel is going to work very well. Okay, now we're going to put a bead of silicone in our rack here to, to hold the panel. And we will go all the way around with a bead that's approximately a quarter inch. Start at the top. We'll work our way to the bottom. And then we'll lay the panel in right on top of this bead. Okay, here we have our laminate and we're about to put it in the frame. And we will just set the bottom down in the bottom groove and let it ride. And we'll just gently lay it down into the frame. And as you can see, we already have the other eight or the other nine panels, I'm sorry, installed, which we did several days ago. And we're installing and putting a stick in for a spacer at the bottom just to hold it until the silicone sets. Alright, now we'll space it and get our margin the same all the way around. Make sure it's sitting square in the frame. And the bottom needs to slide that way just a bit. And there we go, finished product.